Hey guys, it's Rindy. I am here today with my March update for my A to Z project pan for 2023. And I think I've had one letter that I've gotten through so far, but I have an exciting update this time. So let's get into the last of these products that I have. So the first thing on the list is my Avon and Uber Surfacing Expert, and this one has moved slightly from the green down to the purple line, and it's it's making progress, and that's what we want. We're working on getting that one out of here. My letter B, my Bruchy Ridge Filler, this one is gone. I can't scrape any more out of here, and I'm, I'm done trying. It takes me forever to get anything to come out, so I am calling that done. And like a ridge filler is not something I'm going to replace. So that one is just done and is out of my inventory. So one more thing that will not be getting replenished in my inventory. Then we have the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara. This one is starting to get kind of dry. Um, I'm, I'm debating on if it's irritating my eyes. But for now, we are still using it and it's gone from 27.5 grams to 26.968 grams. So this one, I don't know that it's gonna last more than a few months longer, but it was kind of a give me product because mascara doesn't last forever anyways. Next, the Dream Urban Coverage Foundation. This one's gone from 14.726 grams to 10.763 grams. And it is getting very low and hard to squeeze out. I have to keep it upright. And I get some out. Um, but I am going to cut this guy open so that I can get all of the remainder product out of here. Because I do really like it. And I can't find it anymore. So it's the Dream Urban Coverage Full Cover Full Coverage Protective Makeup Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF. And I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it in my drugstores. So if you tell you can tell me where to find this with the SPF, I would love you for it. Then we have the Ciate Eye Luster. This one has gone from 22.66 grams to 22.091 grams. But maybe the more exciting part of this announcement or this update is that I've taken the stopper out of this. And so there's quite a bit of product left in there once I take the stopper out, but it was getting to the point where mu not much would come out on the wand when I'd pull it with the stopper in. So there's that. The next is my Flamingo Fashion Nails. These ones are done. There are two nails that didn't fit my finger size left in there, but for me, they are done. I might pass those on to a friend if they want them um, as accent nails but that is another empty for letter F. My Wet n Wild Glitter Eyeliner. This one has only gone down by a little bit too from 8.459 grams to 8.068 grams. But this one too, I took out the stopper because it was getting very hard to get product out. So that is what we're looking like down in there. And we will see how much more product I can get out of there. I may start taking like an actual eyeliner brush and dipping it down in there so I can reach down farther and see if I can't scrape out what's left down there. Then we'll move on to the letter J. This is my Josie Marin oil. This is also an empty. It was up here at the green line when I took it up to my bedroom and now there's nothing left in it. It was getting really hard to suck out. So I actually, it was like down real low. And so I dumped it off into a like nail polish bottle to use on my cuticles. But for the sake of it being a face oil um, and getting it out of this bottle to put on my face, it is gone. But I wasn't gonna let, waste the last few drops of the ridiculously expensive oil. So. <clears throat> Then we move on to, let me find it, the Avon Lip Conditioner. This one also didn't move very far, but it is looking like this. It is down quite a bit to the point of being scratchy, but I will probably dig this out for the sake of this project. So that is what we're looking like, and I expect to see more and more of a dip as we go along on this one. 
Then we move on to the Chella Brow and Lash Mascara. I'm just using the brow side. This is the e.l.f., not the, not the Chella. This is the e.l.f. Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. And there's still some in there. You can see it. It's very gross. It used on my eyebrows after I put product in, after I put the Chella in. Um, but there's still a little bit left in there. It's working. I haven't taken the stopper out yet and that will happen eventually but for now we're making progress on that where are we at let me my no problem priming essence this one i was sure i would get through and i've squeezed it out and gone wow i can't believe there's more product in there so this one stays upright because i keep swearing that i'm at the end of it but there's at least one more use in here because i couldn't get it to finish up the last time I primed my face so we're very down there it's gone from 15.15 grams to 10.966 grams so down by quite a few grams and still going so I do enjoy it so I'm not mad about it but yeah if you want to get something that gives you your money's worth that one reproduces overnight so the next thing I'm going to tell you about the Trustique Conceal Crayon for the letter Q and this one hasn't moved far, 19.494 to 19.084. And there is that much of the product left in there. I've been using it for contouring, bronzing, kind of. And I've learned in the last month that it does good on my eyelids as a primer. But also there's primers that are going to be in projects. So I don't want to get in that habit. The next thing, the Revlon Conceal and Define, this one's gone from 27.879 grams to 27.553 grams. And this is also getting to the point, you can see the windowing in there. This is also getting to the point where not much comes out on the wand and I wanna take this stopper out. So by next update, I'm guessing the stopper will be out of this one as well, but I don't wanna to get to a point where I get too much at a time. Then our Kula Mineral Sunscreen. This one's making good progress. It was up at the green line and we're now down to purple. We just got the little bit, but we're getting into the fat part. So I expect it to slow down just a little bit, but we're getting, I'm doing well putting sunscreen on my face again. And so that is very exciting. <clears throat> then we get into the Chella Brow Cream in Tantalizing Taupe for letter T. And this one, is almost on the floor it went from 20 went from 2.87 grams to 2.809 grams this one you just don't need a lot and you've seen me if you've been watching me put this in I think this is the third project it's been on so you never want to buy a brow product again go for this one and I'm not mad at it I just wish I could actually pan it then we get into the Ultra Pro Purple Nail Polish. If you hear my kids screaming, I'm sorry. It's Sunday. I'm trying. And I cannot tell where I should draw a line on this. So it may be a product that I just tell you when I finally can't use it anymore. For now, it's nice and thick and pretty and I can get plenty of polish out. So that's where we're at. We then get into letter V, Ofra Verona Lipstick. This one's gone from 23.757 grams to 23.6 grams. And I've enjoyed this one underneath the Pretty Vulgar that is in my Fifty Shades of Green on my lips. So that's been a new combination I've been enjoying and working through the Verona lipstick. Then we get into the Milk Makeup Cream Blush in work. This one, still so much product, guys. Like, this is a sample, and there's still so much. And this went from 16.937 to 16.864 grams. So I do expect this color to pick up when I'm done with my Fifty Shades of Green, which is in April, because that is also being used as a blush to try and get through it faster. So hopefully that will make this one start moving quicker because it's the will be the only blush in projects that I know of right now then we got the L'Oreal Excalibur nail polish this one's moved a tiny bit from the blue down to the purple line 
and so we are getting progress on that. I've been using it under the screen glitter, especially for March and St. Patrick's Day and Mardi Gras and all of that. So that one has had a little bit of use and hopefully will be picking up use as the month goes on here and we move into Easter and that kind of thing. And the last product before I go yell at these kids for screaming is the Unique Mood Struck Epic Lash Primer. And this one also feeling like it's starting to dry out, which is understandable because it's been quite a few years that I've had this, just not using it consistently. But at the same time, it still will come out and have like creamy chunkies on it. And they really aren't like flakes. So we'll, we'll see how long this lasts. It has gone from 27.961 grams to 27.7 grams. And I've been using it on my bottom lashes and then putting a color eyeshadow on top before it dries and enjoying that. So those are all the products in my A to Z that I want to tell you about this month. I hope you'll stick around, check out my progress, check out everyone else in this project, the Fantastic Ladies collab. And until the next time, I will talk to you all later.